Secretary General, Mr. Ronald Noble, my parliamentary colleague, Mr. Masagos Lukifli, my colleagues from the Ministry of Home Affairs, Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, uh, very good morning to all of you. Uh, first, uh, let me warmly welcome you and say how pleased I am to join you today for the handover ceremony of the Interpol Global Complex for Innovation. This ceremony marks an important milestone in the establishment of the IGCI. With this handover from the Ministry of Home Affairs of Singapore, Interpol can now start making arrangements to install its systems and equipment to commence the IGCI's operations in the building. The decision to establish the IGCI is testament to the vision of Interpol's leadership and its recognition of the fact that the nature of crime is changing rapidly. Fueled by globalization and technological advancements, crime has become transnational, if not global. It's become more complex and sophisticated and pervasive in its impact. In turn, criminals are bolder, ambitious, and ever more resourceful. Today, criminals operate in loose and agile networks. They move quickly and operate from different locations to avoid detection and prosecution by law enforcement agencies. They have also been able to diversify their operations, resulting in the emergence of new threats such as cybercrime and transnational organized crime. Their illegal activities have a global footprint, constantly adopting new technologies and alliances to stay ahead of law enforcement. No country can deal with this menace on its own. Our threat environment has changed and our police forces must adapt and they cannot afford to operate in isolation. To help its members meet the policing demands of this new age, Interpol has taken the lead to develop innovative global crime-fighting initiatives. This important effort will be enhanced by the establishment of the IGCI. By focusing on innovation, the IGCI will equip itself with cutting-edge technology to proactively combat crime as it evolves. It will study emerging crime trends and harness technology to develop future policing solutions. It will forge strong partnerships with the private sector and allow, allow our law enforcement agencies to leverage the private sector's extensive resources to detect, prevent, and deter crime. The Digital Crime Center within the IGCI is evidence of this. The center will support member countries' operations by providing law enforcement agencies with advanced tools and techniques to counter the latest cybercrime trends. It will also facilitate information sharing with the private sector, which could have critical information that can strengthen efforts and actions against cybercrime. Given the complex and evolving nature of this new threat, it is clear that the Digital Crime Center will be of great value to all our police forces. Asia, and in particular Singapore, have good reasons to welcome the establishment of the IGCI. With geographic proximity that it affords, we will be better able to harness Interpol's extensive resources and networks to combat crime. We will also benefit from Interpol's partnerships with the private sector. Already, several private sector partners have pledged strong support for the IGCI, ranging from the offer of significant technical and human resources to advanced solutions and intelligence, as well as various training programs. These contributions will certainly help to boost our law enforcement capacity and capabilities. The IGCI's value is perhaps best exemplified by Interpol's recent joint operations with several member countries to tackle sextortion cases in this region. The increased opportunity for information sharing between the Digital Crime Center and law enforcement agencies led to the identification of close to 200 individuals involved in organized crime groups operating out of the Philippines. This is a significant achievement which our police forces can aspire to continue to emulate collectively in collaboration with the IGCI. We have indeed come a long way 
from the endorsement of the IGCI project by Interpol's General Assembly in November 2010 to the commencement of its construction in January last year and the handover ceremony today. Secretary General Noble has been steadfast in his conviction and unwavering support for the project, and the Interpol and Singapore IGCI project teams have been resolute in their commitment and perseverance over the past four years. Please join me in thanking Secretary General Ronald Noble and the Interpol and IGCI, Singapore IGCI project teams for their signal contributions to this important endeavor. Thank you. We look forward to the IGCI commencing its operations in this building soon and its opening ceremony in April next year. And I'm confident that the IGCI will be an important ally in our collective effort to fight crime and make the world a safer place. Thank you very much.